normally in due diligence, you'd say, okay, what are the other vacancies in the market? You know, could they move 50 miles away to save a dollar? I'm like, they can't move because the people aren't going. So you're not necessarily looking at rental comps or sales comps, although replacement cost is something we like to be comfortable with that we're buying below the replacement cost, but it's more about the people. Yeah, I love that uh, intentionality of speaking to the uh, to the workforce, right? Even the question that you said, what's the sense of family, right? In the business yeah. or the day-to-day, -day, I think it's a great question. And even thinking through, uh, you know, how hard it is for a tenant like that to have to move. Uh, and, you know, knowing who their workers are uh, is so important, right? Because you know, hey, those 400 employees or a thousand, whatever it is that are working in that building, most likely are not moving, even if it's 30 minutes, an hour uh, right away to a different facility. And they're not going to change their commute if they can get another job down the street for a dollar more an hour. They're just not doing it. And then sometimes the cost of the relocation, uh, like, like I'm an investor in, in a deal down in Chesapeake, Virginia, uh, and First Data uh, is one of the tenants. Now, First Data, like you lose your American Express card, you call Amex, they ship your card out overnight. First Data is the one that imprints those metal cards and credit cards and for e almost everything, MasterCard, Visa, even the gift cards you find on the rack of the supermarket. Their building was built around the 15,000 square foot vault and they have a restoration clause in the lease. They're not going anywhere. You know what it costs to move that, dig that vault out of the middle of a building? <laughs> so, so we look at why tenants can't move, uh, things like that. Uh, how much equipment do you have installed? 